All right. So we, a couple of videos that I've done, uh, most specifically the one where I, where I talked about where I learned about a lot of the places I'm defensive, uh, that one specifically, but some of the other ones where I've talked about our, our confidence in ourselves and the horse's confidence in us, those, those seem to have really struck a nerve, not just from the comments that I've seen from you guys, uh, but then people that, that know me personally that watch these videos have sent texts and emails and called me, and uh, we've had a lot of discussions about it. And it, it, a lot of it was older guys that, that had started a lot of cults in their life and had cowboyed a lot, and they said, don't, don't you dare let your guard down. That's what keeps you alive. Yeah, it is, but it's also caused me a lot of, a lot of trouble. So I, I want to talk about that kind of stuff some more. Um, it, it, because that struck a nerve and that seemed like seemed like that was something that that y'all really had a lot to say about had a lot to think about and so so we're going to do some more of those things but right now i want to address an email i got specifically uh from a young man in europe and i've i've been mean, meaning to email him back and I, I still intend to email him back but i thought this was important enough that i wanted to share it to everybody and so the long and the short of it this young man likes riding horses, enjoys riding horses, is trying to learn more about riding horses. His parents are real supportive of him. Um, but then it, it's not as if he's, he hasn't grown up in a, in a horse family, a horse culture. And that's not just being in Europe. That's, that's just, I, you know, these folks are accountants or something. I don't know. Uh, but he, he said, you know, there's been some wrecks. He's got, gotten some bumps and bruises, maybe a couple of broken bones. And that's, that's life. You know, that happens while we're learning to ride. But, but specifically, he said he, he purchased a horse, and it turned out the horse is just way too much for him. And it, it was a good horse, but it was too much horse for his level. And so he's made the decision to get rid of the horse, and he's really down on himself. And I wish I could remember the words he specifically said. He, it, it was, um, I, I'm full of uh, shame and self-loathing and I, and I thought heck you're halfway to being a horse trainer that's what we're all full of <laughs> that and one other thing um and so here's my deal and this is why i wanted to share it with with this whole audience i think that's something maybe a lot of people have been through something i've been through too with with a horse that at other times in my career as a rider were either too much horse for me, and, and of course in those days I would never admit that something was too much horse for me, and so uh, I, I did the worst thing you could do, was not admit that it was too much horse, and rather than be the bigger man and, and, and get rid of the horse and sell it, uh, I conquered it, you know, so I ruined the horse instead. Uh, and, and then there's, throughout my entire career, there's been horses that, that have scared me, there's been horses that, that I knew were dangerous. There's been horses where I got to a spot where I was just didn't know what to do. Uh, a guy told me one time, at the end of our road of knowledge is a great big sign that says frustration. And when we, when we get past our knowledge, that's where we're at. We're in the zone of frustration. I've been there a lot with, with lots of horses. And so I, I just want to, I want to tell this young man, but I, but I also want to tell you all, that's, it's not the end of the world. You, you get a horse that doesn't fit you. The worst thing you can do is try to change yourself or change the horse to make that situation fit. Because neither of you are going to be happy. That horse is going to be frustrated and possibly scared. You're going to be frustrated and scared. Uh, if one's too much for you, don't be full of, don't be full of self-loathing loathing and, uh, and, and shame. Find somebody that the horse does fit and then find a horse that fits you. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times actually, whoever does fit that horse, they've graduated up to a, to a horse at that level. They probably have the horse for you. That's, you know, they're going into the, they're going into the Lamborghini, which is what you have, but you can't drive. And they've got a Honda Civic to trade in, which is what you need because you can drive. And so th there's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's no reason to be ashamed of things like that. And, and that's just part of life. And the only other thing I, I, I'm going to tell this young man and, and tell any of y'all is don't be afraid to find help. 
If what you're doing isn't working, don't be afraid to change. That's another John Thackerism. Find help. Find somebody. Find somebody that knows more than you do. And, and I've said this a hundred times. I don't care if you're interested in, in high-performance Western riding and the only professional trainer around you is a, is a is jump seat a thing? I don't know, some kind of an English jumper or something like that. That's the only, they're still a professional and they still know, but they can still help you with your horse because the, the fundamentals of all of these disciplines are all the same. If what you're into is dressage and the only person you can find around you to give you any help is a rainer, you can still get information off of them. So find somebody, if you're having trouble with your horse, find somebody to help you and don't feel like you're giving up on the horse if it just doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. That's you're not giving up on a pair of boots because you outgrew them. You're just giving them to somebody that they do fit. So take that for what you paid for it. And uh, young guy that that wrote me that email. Good luck, man. I'm I'm gonna be sending you an email and and we'll talk about this whole deal a little deeper. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>